Hello everyone, Paul from Paul Goes. Welcome to uh, this video. Uh, we're going to be taking another look at 8-Rack in Modern. Um, um, so that's the deck. Uh, I've rejoined at a really awkward time, which is that the Modern League that I would normally join is going to end in like a few days from now, and there's a chance I won't get to finish all five games in that time. So I'm just going to be playing a couple of these uh, one-shot sort of cues. Pretty good looking hand. Our deck on turn one. And grand, what have you got? Ooh, black burn, okay. Hmm. Uh, smallpox does work here. We've got a dismember up our sleeve as well. So yeah, I think I'm going to be a bit cheeky here and take the extra point of damage. Hey everyone, um... We're back. Uh, the last guy timed out. He just disappeared on me, the uh, Blackburn fella. Ooh. Yes, indeed. Uh, okay, we have enough lands to support Smallpox. Like, if he goes turn one, Inquisition. Um, he mulliganed. I guess I'll keep going second here, so I'm on the draw. I'm trying to think what this deck is with Seachrome Coast. I don't know if it's normal sort of Jeskai control. Um, because obviously it's not doing anything yet. He is tapping out. Okay. Okay, that's good. Not spreading seas. No, oh, actually, wouldn't matter if it was spreading seas. Ah! Oh, ad nauseum! <laughs> if it is ad nauseum, we are sweet. <laughs> we are golden. And as you can see, I've made a massive mistake playing Mutavolt turn 1. I was supposed to play the Swamp turn 1. Um, never mind. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Um... Do we smallpox here? I don't even think we do. I think we just crime. It just feels so mean. And I'm surprised he discarded that, actually, because that would have been really handy for him. What is going on here? Do people just not want to play me? <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> um, Sideboard-wise, we obviously are expecting Leyline in all of its glory um, to be coming in. So now I'm pretty convinced I do want to... Does it even run removal? I don't get cracking here. And this really will pin him. I mean, echoing truth. Echoing truth. Why do they play that main deck? I didn't know they played that main deck. Okay, so the rack will work all the way down to zero, uh, and beyond zero. I then need to get to a point where my creatures have infect, and uh, I then need to finish him off with infect creatures. I don't know what happens here. Does Mutavolt get infect? As long as all damage is as, 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 as though. Okay, right. So Mutavolt will will have infect when it becomes a creature. Uh, both horrendous cards, neither of which I want to cast. The turn. Oh, he's got Lotus Plume coming. Okay, that's interesting. So I think our logic is good here. Um. Ooh, that worked. Okay, that was the right order. So we Raven and Bash here. Oh. All right. So, Lotus Bloom is real. Does he have two of them? Combo, though. That's what he doesn't have. So, get in. You get some poison counters. I suppose, could he draw Solemnity? And then it becomes a... 
a, a milling race or something? I don't know. Okay. So do they run Solemnity in the main deck? What'd you get? Ad nausea might do. Oh, he's found it. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Ah, oh, that stinks. <laughs> that stinks so bad. One <laughs> off the top. <laughs> yep, yeah, okay. Oh, maybe I'm wasting time. Oh, there we go, okay. Begin sideboarding. So, yeah, it's pretty much just this. And then that. Obviously, Thoughtseize is huge here. And the last thing is this. Like, that's... It just does... It just writes itself, doesn't it? I mean, this. Does this change against Ad Nauseam? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. It's deceptive, Raven's Crime, and a bunch of lands, because at first glance it looks like you've got a 1-drop and a 3-drop. You've actually got... You've got 1, 2, and 3. Uh, whoa! What? What on earth? What? What is going on? Oh, he must have just... Oh, sorry, he must have just drawn it. Did he draw... He must have drawn it for the turn. Okay. I thought the world had gone mad there for a moment. Um, I'm going to back myself. I'm going to say I can get rid of that ley line before uh, it matters. Make sure I can see what's going on here. Loses the spirit guide. Okay. It's a decent draw. Down to two cards. Uh, is it Lily or is it Double Raven's Crime? Pitch these two, play Mutavolt. Can argue this both ways? You really could. Ah, uh, he suspended another one. My. Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay, that's why he discarded the... Right, he didn't have any choice. He had two copies of the same card. All right. So, <laughs> we have a very slow clock. Um, but he can never have more than one card in his hand now. Um, he can top deck uh, Phyrexian Unlife. That's something he can do. We will be looking to ultimate as soon as it's safe. It's not a bad draw for him. Bottom, bottom. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I saw the white mana. I thought, no. Hey. Hey, hey. So plus one uh, is what I want to do. Um, I mean, it is temp. I could be ruthless here and divide his mana sources up. But even if I did that, he actually has 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. And he's got this thing coming in next turn. I actually feel like it's... With Liliana sitting there, I think he needs to draw a certain sequence of cards. So he could draw Leyland of Sanctity, for example, now go on to draw Phyrexian Unlife and eventually you know, find his way to um... now what are the piles? Oh my goodness if they <laughs> if they choose really quickly you know you've messed up as a win condition uh What was it? Swamp. Uh, okay, he does get one more turn to find an unlife. life 
swan song. That's interesting. But if he does that, it gives me a 2-2 bird to bash him with. I don't think Swan Song is a good card for him. He's going first. Okay. Alright. Actually, the wrench is pretty bad here. On top. Okay. Yeah, okay. Alright. Um. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll just have to see if we can... If we can find it now. Opening 7 had Ley Line, so the chances of that, if he had 4, is like 36%, something like that. Mm. Uh, it could be all over. Okay. Well, I am being punished for my cockiness earlier about how great we are against Combo and, and Ad Nauseam in general. Do, I mean, Lily Smallpox really does help a lot here in these in this sort of situation, but uh, we just don't have those cards in our opening hand. Unlife is, is a disaster for us. Who finds that? He's still just waiting. Okay, well, Lily's a start. Oh, no, Vendillion click. Okay. I F6. Bloody thing. Okay, never mind. Silly mistake, sorry for that. I'm not sure how much it's going to matter, actually. Yeah, I'm just toast here until I find smallpox. Yeah, okay, maybe he's going off here. So, should we have mulliganed? Knowing full well that there were four ley lines on the other side. That will become the um, the question. Um, so he'll win whenever he's able to win, I think. Alright, come on, put me out of my misery, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, what the hell does that do? Search your library for an instant card, or a card with flash. Reveal it and put it in your hand. Mm. May have been right, but I don't think it was... B if it was right, I don't think we were badly wrong. Um, I mean, he's not in great shape at starting with three cards in his hand, though, either, so... Uh, he mulliganed. I am going to keep. Decent-looking hand. This is just... Yeah, when they go to fight. Bernie, Bernie, yep, 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 okay. Alright, I don't need to see. Well, actually I do, because I'm going to... Inquisition. It's getting hard in here. Sorry, I'll keep the singing to a minimum from now on, I promise. Uh, is Lava Spike the one that doesn't make you sack a land, does it? No, no, okay, yeah, so Lava Spike goes... Bolt me. So, this is a 50-50 against Burn. It really is, like... You know, we have a chance. Okay, there's the other one. Uh, how do I make him pitch that card? Do I want to... I don't know what that card is, so... Thoughtseize is really risky. Here, you can... It's probably... It's almost certainly a two-drop. It could be Lightning Bolt. Well, I'll be conservative. I'll be conservative here. Uh, there's no point thinking that Wrench Mine's ever going to make him discard two. It's just never going to happen. Yeah, he's discarding the card. Okay, that's cool. And it was a land. All right. So we dropped a 14 here. Yeah. Field is interesting. Um, I think Bob is going to just be too good here. If he if he attracts a lightning bolt, that's totally fine. He's good. He's he's decent in this matchup. Um, there's actually... The weird thing with Burn is he, they don't actually run a lot of Lightning Bolt cards that actually do the same thing as Lightning Bolt does. Um, you know, Boris Charm, Skullcrack, they all target me. So, yeah, Boris Charm. Lightning Helix me. Okay. Yeah, that's alright. It's a bit of a concern. Okay. Be punished here. 
but we're not. We're not punished at all. Let's go get in. And I think we want to destroy the Sacred Foundry here. Uh, yep. Not thought seizing, so... Ah! 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 <laughs> Mucked up. <laughs> uh, okay, played too quickly there. Sorry, everyone. Uh, the <laughs> I clicked on the space where the the muter vault I thought was going to land in order to cast the rack. So... Uh, that really stinks. That's good news. So I'll get away with one here. So, Bob happens. Hurts me a bit, but that's okay. Yep, I don't think I want to do that. I think that really would have helped to kill that Sacred Foundry. It would have been really good there. Field of Ruin, welcome to the team. I'm really liking the fact that this is in my deck now. Imagine doing that to Tron at the right time. Really cool. Okay, so he does nothing. I'm taking that foundry. If you tap if you tap it, I'm taking it. Ah. Oh. Well. So if I do it now, he responds, and that's magnificent for us if he responds. So Because these triggers go off with him on one instead of two cards. Yep, he's responding. So he needs a miracle off the top. Well, two bolts would do it. I think that card's a land. I really do. You know, Revelry or Helix or whatever. It's got to be exactly two lightning bolts. I don't think he has any other... Sorry, it wasn't two... Yeah, okay, it was... <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, I'm dead! I'm alive! <laughs> I didn't even see that! <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that with Bob. Oh, that's horrendous. Um, oh, that was shocking. To win despite your own idiocy. That That's uh, in The Simpsons somewhere, I think. <sighs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to keep this. I think I can afford to take this gamble. That's... Okay, well, if it is a swamp, I'll be very happy. Yep, perfect. Alright, so I could Inquisition here. Um, but I'm not going to just push him now. I could just push him now. I uh, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Eidolon is bad. Good, 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 good. Ah, that's sweet. That is sweet. Double Inquisition. Better than Wrenchmind. Better than Wrenchmind, yeah. Okay. He's down to four cards. I have an Affliction in hand. You show me your hand, baby. Oh, yeah. Yep, so generally speaking, when you're inquisitioning burn, take the cheaper card. Like, these two things do practically the same thing. The three life isn't as important as the efficiency he gets out of Lightning Bolt. So that is the one we take. And then same again. Inquisition is just a joy. Oh, well, this one will be Lightning Helix. Okay, that's fine. I was going to say he'd cast the bolt in response there, but, um, yeah. No, that's fine. Very happy with that. I think that's his hand there. Yes, that happens. Gala 15. Arid Mesa. No creatures. Good, 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 good. Okay. Oh, that's Lava Spike. Okay, well, he's got game here. He does have game. And plus her. 
being on nine. Once you're under ten, you're, you're probably dead. I, I know he's hellbent, but he only needs to draw three non-land cards, and we're dead. There's one. Yep. Okay, there's a brick. So is there an argument here for playing Bob? I'm definitely playing the land. Um, let's think about this. If I play Bob and he draws a Boris Charm, or any lightning bolt effect, I'm really putting myself in massive trouble. I shorten the clock, though, down to two turns instead of what it is now, which is currently three. If he bricks... Yeah, but then I've, Bob actually has two chances to kill me or to help kill me, so I think it's definitely wrong to play him. Wrench does nothing here, so we are, yeah, passing the turn. Okay, well, burn, man. It's a gamble. It really is a gamble. You've got... Oh, no, yeah. No, no, so it's the same maths. Yeah, I've forgotten about the three damage from Shrieking. I actually think if I played this deck in paper, I would be horrendous at it. I would be missing triggers left, right, and centre. Yes! Well, how does that change things? It it, it brings the clock forward by one. Um, to find one off the top, so... It uh, really doesn't matter now. Yeah, it all comes down to the top of his deck, what that is. What you got? Goblin Guide. Come on. Oh, <laughs> oh, did I call it? Down to one life? Man, burn. It's always, like... It's always juicy. Always a juicy matchup. It really, really is. Um, So I... Pff, did I make any mistakes... Uh, at the end of game one, like when I totally forgot that Bob was irrelevant, his trigger was relevant. I mean, I was on six life. I I thought one of his lands was one of his hands, one of his cards in hand was a land. Um, turned out to be a lightning bolt. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Bjorn. Good to meet you, man. I don't love this hand. I really... I'm not a huge fan. I mean, I'm going on the draw here, so I'm going to keep... Um, maybe it's actually better than... My, my first reaction is a little bit thin. But, uh... We will keep... Double Bob is not really what I want in, in, in 8 rack. He's more... Uh, with Bob, you, I really... The reason he's in this build of 8-rack for me is... He's a finisher. You know, he's not actually what I want to do on turn 2. He's kind of what I want to do on turn 5. Yeah, so not very scary. Uh, it's definitely search here. Uh, um... I think that's what we're going to do. Small upside of playing a single blackmail. Just gives you that little bit of variety. I didn't invent this. Uh, I, 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 I came across this online, someone's uh, list, uh, who'd gone 5-0 and with 8-rack. It's become a pretty popular thing to put one blackmail in, and it just gives you the opportunity sometimes to do this, which is just mean. There's a chance of bricking on land here. Um, we'll be very, very happy. He's drawn... Uh... Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. I mean, that's what this deck is here to do, is to play horrendous cards like Smallpox. Like, it just... You know, nothing else in Modern is remotely like this. It's just like, hey, let's just both destroy all of our resources. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we're playing on our terms... Good draw. 
Very good draw. Lightning bolt's annoying here. Yep. Alright, well he found one. That's fair enough. Discard effect. Nice, nice, nice. That was okay. It worked out alright. I mean, Bob did his secondary role of <laughs> soaking up a removal spell and acting as a, a one for one. Not really what he's in the deck to do, but um, I think this kills him unless he can draw a card. Is that Once your opponent starts hoarding cards to protect themselves against the rack and Shrieking Affliction, you are in very good shape unless they have, you know, Phyrexian Arena and or, you know, some other kind of gross thing, or they've got maybe Bob of their own that you can't interact with that's going to draw them two cards per turn, then it does work. But generally, once they're in that situation, they're in, they're in very, very big trouble. Um, I'm going to assume that we are looking at Gurmag Angler and Tassigo. I don't see how else that deck can win. He's not doing Death Shadow. That much is clear. Um... Uh, I've got to drop a card here with a minute to go. What have I done? I've taken out Wrench and Inquisition. So I'm taking out Discard Effects, and I think that feels okay. It's a longer game. Blackmail's still good. I think maybe Bob actually is not as great here. Yeah, makes way for Ley Lines. Seems okay. We'll do it this way. I'm going to be on the draw as well, so he's going first, yeah. All right, so we have a ley line. Um, we don't have a lot of other stuff going on. Um, there's no need to give him free access to uh, black mana just yet. Um, because dredge doesn't show up often enough. See, that's just fantastic. Look at that. Thought Scour. Go ahead and ex enter the Exile Zone. So Leyline is, is far from a guarantee of, of success against this guy. He can just easily play an honest six lands and cast Tassiga. That, that'll obviously happen from time to time. Don't mind getting Counter Squalled here as a backup. I mean, he can't... <laughs> okay, sure. Okay. He's thought scouring me. Ooh. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, and now with the new rules, the rat can't hurt him, and we we are in big trouble. Uh, maybe I should take that chance. So that's why I'll do it this way. So you get rid of the beta, and then I'm allowed to resolve a lily. What would those snappies have got? They would have got back more thought scours. Counter squall. Yep. Has it four turns here? Can he counter squall? He can. Uh, okay. Very well played. That is beautiful. Very well played. That's just gorgeous. Excellent move, Bjorn. Really, really well done. So he knew that the smallpox would resolve and crush my hand, my land base. That that was 
that was really, really good. So a weaker player or a less experienced player would have countered the spell. This guy knew exactly what he was doing. Oh, well, I suppose he could, you know, with Chase he was always going to have them. Yeah, good game. I mean, sucks to lose, but um, really, really good game against this guy. And game three is going to be interesting because I, I'm torn on Leyline. I really am torn. Um, I'll play this and pass the turn. He's, you know, apart from Dredge and Hollow One, like Hollow One is, yeah, sure, obviously bring it in. There's enough there that we hate. Um, well, this might tell us if we can just concede or not. He's going to build his way up to... Uh, ultimate. There's no graveyard for coal again. It can kill a, a rack. So these aren't even playable. Um, i trying to remember what those cards were. Uh, my argument for going first is definitely a lot weaker, though, I think, here. I just can't see how I can possibly win from here. Uh, I've got to take something. Grixis Control. I, I don't rate our chances of winning very highly against Ancestral Vision and Search for Ascounter, and he's got... One copy? Uh, just one copy, maybe, in of, of Search. I think that's what they normally run. They normally run one if they're running any at all. Minus 12 is coming. This becomes my library. <laughs> all right. He's still got plenty of time. 12 minutes is not worth playing to time here. Um, oh. um, uh... So we'll go first. Likes what he saw. So we can protect Bob. Oh my god. Ah, jeez. Well. Alright. So I have no discard pressure. Um. I lose the game if I play... If I take the bolt... If I take the vision and play Bob on turn two, he gets bolted. Um, the guy then untaps, plays his second land, passes, maybe does nothing. But I have literally nothing. This was maybe a bad keep by me, I think, because uh, I've pinned all my hopes on Bob, and I feel compelled to take the bolt. So if he doesn't draw an answer to Bob, I get two turns of him. It's hard, but it's possible. This is where we really need him to do his thing. Yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> no problem. Um... Well, we're forcing him to throw away the um, the best. Yes, yeah, so that's probably the junk, right? He didn't he didn't brainstorm for that. So I'm very interested to see now what do we get by doing this. Oh crap! I better keep this one. Ah, oh, really? Wonder if he's going to be watching Sweden versus Switzerland. What you got? Draw four cards. Make it five with Jace. How does that sound? Make my job a complete nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> so, so hard. Eh. Maybe I should just become more of a pessimist. How do I win from here? Ugh. Oh, I should just concede, actually. That's just uh, horrendous. Yeah. Because I can actually... Oh no, I am dead, because he has another bolt in hand. Uh, 
I can't see how I can possibly win from here. And you don't want to hear me, you know, being like all depressed and stuff for another 20 minutes while I slowly die. Oh, I think we'll keep. Oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> oh hello. Right. Um, okay. So, the mirror match. <laughs> you never expect to see the mirror match, man. Um, the mirror match all comes down to who gets the most racks. Uh, so if I play... Uh, he's going to win this game, I think. Raven's Crime's fantastic. Um, yeah. No, I don't think I can win this game. Um, these mirrors actually usually aren't very interesting. I've, I've played a handful of them, but, um, yeah. He takes my one. So he has one and I have none. I mean, he's worried about his land base, I guess. He's thin on lands. But, uh... Eesh. Yikes. No, he didn't find it. So smallpox is going to be good here. Although it's just it's just a, it's just symmetry. I mean, yeah. Ooh, crunch time. Um, he's dealing five to me a turn. I'm dealing six to him. I'm winning the race, I think it's probably fair to say. Oh my goodness. He's not getting... Uh, tough spot. Yeah. Yeah, if he'd hoarded there, though, I go to six. He takes one. He could have hoarded. I actually think that was a bad concede. Bob... Is awesome. Um, ley line against his raven is not worth the paper it's printed on. All of our discard spells are bad. Um, fatal push on his mutavolt could be a thing. Certainly better than dismember as a starting point. Um, fly in the ointment. They don't have anything that costs more than three. So I'll run three fatal pushes. If I have all three of them in my opening hand, I'll scream and ball, but, uh... Krog. Okay, I have a bob. I have a bob, but I don't have anything else. He's kept seven. We don't... I'm going to keep... I, I don't... It's a bit borderline. I'm on the draw here, so... Okay. That's a good start. Okay. Yeah, nice one. So I can protect Bob now. From smallpox or the like. Uh, okay. I'll be in very, very big trouble if he plays that smallpox. <laughs> I can't take that risk. I have to I have to take the smallpox. Um, yeah, it's just no black mana. Oh, wow. You don't see him very often. Um, target opponent discards a card, and then if I have none in hand, he flips. Uh, yep. Okay, well, you can't kill Bob, and he is a nightmare for the rack. For eight rack to play against. Um, basically, he's second only to, you know, Phyrexian Arena and Ancestral Visions in the sense that he's second because you can kill him. I can, you know, obviously Lily can kill him, Smallbox can kill him, he can be dismembered. But if you don't have an answer to ye old Bob, um, your life is very difficult. The cool thing about this guy is that he's repeatable. Very, very cool. Um, am I ever going to wrench mine? Uh, maybe that was wrong. Two lilies. I'm probably going to have to discard another card before the game's over anyway. I've been losing track, I think. I don't know what any of these are now. But this is just... Oh, brutal when he earns it back for you. It's just like, boom! 
This doesn't take a genius. Yeah, man. Dark confident. Sweet as a plum. So smallpox would be quite bad here. For us. Smallpox is a good answer. If we can find it or draw it or lily. He's got something. Just Raven. Yep. Sure. This gives repeatable effect. He's actually pretty cool. If he has... Then he flips, by the way. He came very close to flipping there. What happens when he flips? At the beginning, that player loses one life for each card. For you. Oh, he becomes a walking rack. Okay, that's right. So the Mutavolt cannot activate... Um, so I think it's Liliana minus one here. Yes, the Mutavolt can activate. I'm wrong. It can activate itself. It just can't block. Um, yeah. I, I just don't see why... Oh, well, no, I, I will play this one, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been... It's been emotional. Um, we aren't out of the woods yet, by the way. Uh, what could he do? He could top deck... Uh, smallpox would be great. Lily, His own Lily would be good. Um, his own Lily would be quite good. Make me sack the Bob. We'd be on even terms then. To get rid of that Bob would be a thing. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to hope to ride the card advantage to victory here. Um, but if he draws, I mean, he can knock me to... Maybe I can't afford to do that. If he attacks with both Mutavolts, I probably can't afford to do that. Down. Ooh. Okay. Can do. Yep. Respect, respect, respect. Okay, well... <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Oh. He didn't attack. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, so his afflictions aren't working. I think, again, it's not right to attack here. Is it? Or he needs to go all in. If he plays a fourth land, swings with everything, I probably block with everything. Yes, yield, I yield. So depending on how far down I drop, I might be in a situation where I really have to win, or I'm motivated to try and win this turn, but... Swing with both, I can only animate one, take two damage, the rack does the rest. Oh, is that an instant hero's downfall? I thought it was a sorcery. Um, okay, well yes, you really are dead now. Oh, okay, that all just happened. Okay. Well, good games. I wonder if he's trying to say good game to me. I'll just check. Krog. Anyway, thanks again, and uh hope you enjoy playing 8-Rack, and uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers.